der Fotografen den Beamten in dieser Szene deutlich. Thank you guys, because this guy is... He's he's crazy right now. Where um I'm recording just FYI, but I'm I'm a paparazzi. I don't know who this guy is, but he's been doing the craziness all day. Yeah. Die Polizisten sehen. Hello, beautiful people. Good night. What you just saw that footage, that's that spells major trouble for Harry and Meghan Markle. Yes background <laughs> apparently they sold it or whatever to a german television where they're showing that it's actually harry's car with that crazy driver who were putting everybody in danger that they were going around like crazy that's why harry and Meghan want to stop the footage that's why they want it it's you know this is something that just like everything they've done didn't need to happen that lie didn't need to be told like many many other lies and guess what we have Gail King doubling down that she's gonna launch her show and of course she's gonna have Meghan Markle because now she's a more serious person she's she's a more serious liar but this is major guys this is really major because the paps are really going to expose them now. This does not bode well for Harry and Meghan. Hmm. Especially for Meghan, if it's something that Meghan has done. And it's, some, it's funny because I was listening to Kinsey Schofield um, um, podcast, which is amazing. Go listen to it. Uh, Kinsey Schofield's podcast, To Die For Daily. She's talking to Perez Hilton. And Perez had a good point. He said that, well, I don't know if it's a good point, but that we fall again on the the truth versus what is real on what is perceived by a deranged mind. In my case, I, in my in my opinion, I think that Harry's deranged somehow. Whether his paranoia or derangement is being stoked by Meghan Markle, that's a different story. But Perez said that you know that to Harry it felt real the persecution because you know of whatever baggage mental baggage whatever drugs is taking whatever kind of therapy is taking that it's clearly not working <laughs> i mean this man has been how many years in therapy and instead of getting better he's getting worse i mean it's it's actually pretty pretty awful what's happening with all the footage coming out we're gonna see more we're gonna see more footage where it's gonna get worse for them because we can clearly see this is the dutch i speak a little bit of a uh, german and this is clearly them blocking on purpose the police and everybody else and you can see the police wondering what the hell are these people what are they doing you can hear the paparazzi going Thank for being here because these are crazy. This guy's crazy. So they're driving Harry around, making it more than it seems. If Harry ends up dead, it'll be because of Meghan Markle. Mark my words. If anything happened to that man, it'll be blood on Meghan Markle's hands. I am telling you right now because clearly there's an evil circle around Prince Harry. Evil to its purest core because yes he's an idiot yes he's a wanker yes he's an entitled arrogant prick but he's a sick entitled arrogant prick who's not very bright surrounded by evil i i really do believe that Meghan markle is evil to the core and i don't know what the royal family are waiting for to do something to get him out of that environment they, you know, at some point, Jesus has to take the wheel on this. You know, Jesus has to take charge of the situation. We're watching it unfold. We're watching it fall apart on real time because all of this 
chase. It's clearly the mind of a D-lister who's not very bright, but thinks she is. This is all seedy, dirty D-list scenario. And Harry's not equipped to handle these people, or at least D-listers. He's always had top-notch top everything. Now he's at the hands of an ultra D-lister and her machinations, you know, it, it is, there's a circle of evil around Harry, for real, guys. Because, you know, it is, it's incredible how Meghan Markle is, is stoking his paranoia. She is, if anything happens to Harry, my, mark my words, it's going to be at the hands of Meghan Markle. And it is my firm belief that she's driving him to an early grave. Or to a complete, at the very least, a complete breakdown. I mean, what do you guys think? And this is going to get worse because these paths have a lot of footage. And the only person who's going to be exposed here is Meghan Markle. And if anything happens to Harry, I can guarantee you that the paths are going to speak, speak like crazy. Can you imagine? It's like me being a, a reporter. Oh, it's just been reported that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had a near catastrophic accident. They were chased by 20 tons of snake. They were nearly chased by 20 tons of snake and by a man dressed in a Superman, <laughs> Superman gown flying through the skies that he nearly got them through the car. And they were also nearly chased by a giant monkey, you know, that was coming through the through the town through the streets of New York, banging on his chest, and he calls himself King Kong. Nearly. I mean, this is what I've been telling you all. That Megan, this is this is the level of Meghan Markle's intelligence. This D-list things, just like the D-list pap walk or the D-list pap setup, you know, when she did the D-list pap walk in Canada with that doll, it was clear. I mean, I'm not joking, guys. That was clearly a doll, how the little legs of the, of the thing was were walking around and stuff like that. I mean, on that park. So if, if anything happens to Harry, because Harry's paranoia must be going through the roof. They, and the funny thing is a horrible cycle because they need to drug him to come in down. So, and the drug has to, the drug, the dosage of the drug has to increase because the body creates resistance to it. So this is absolutely horrible. And the royal family should really do something about it. It's like we are all watching this man being played, being ridiculed, and being and being driven to, and at the very least, the most horrible public breakdown there is. And then when something tragic happens, people are going to see, oh, but the signs were there. I mean, this is terrible. This is really not good for Harry and Meghan. What are your thoughts on all of this? Please let me know.